Hi, I'm Steve, uh, Steve Adubato. I'll get that right. I've only been doing this 25 years. Hey, let me introduce uh, our good friend, Steve Masiello, men's basketball coach at uh, Manhattan College. The Jaspers, right? Jaspers, baby. You guys had a good year last year. We did. It was Describe a, it. It was a fun year. It was a year where very few times in life do you start the year with expectations um, of what you want to happen and what you expect to happen, and then it actually goes according to plan. And uh, we were really fortunate last year, and it's a credit to my staff and my student athletes. Just high character people across the board who get it, and, mm. and they understand it. They, they sacrifice, they put time in, and they got the reward, and we won a MAC championship. And we had the opportunity to go play Louisville in the NCAA and uh, play them tough. Yeah, it, was great, it was a fun game. It was a great game to be a part of. Yeah. Um, and they were the, obviously the defending national champion, my mentor, Rick Patino. And uh, we came out on the short end of it. I'm sorry, it. who was that, Rick Patino? Rick Patino. You might have heard of him. Where's he coach? Uh, Louisville. <laughs> University of Louisville. You might have heard of him. I've heard of him. Yeah. And, um, you know, he's a... He, we're looking at just, a shot of you guys right there. Yeah. Yeah. It was just fun. It was just a fun, fun year. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And I got to meet your guys because my mentor, the chairman yeah. of the board of the Caucus Educational Corporation, Ray Ramucci, and... Um, the best. Right. And his son, Mike, Mike, who's on your staff. On my staff. Ray said to me, hey, could I do a little motivational yeah. speaking? You and, were great. Uh, you were a big reason why we had success. Get out of here. You were. You came in, spoke to the team, got them on the straight and narrow, and after then, it was you made my job easy. Oh, yeah, right. That was it. <laughs> but it was, uh, the point I'm making is that meeting your guys off the court and seeing how together they were, how committed they were, and they hadn't been on a big run then. They had a good, right. they were doing all right. Right. But to see these guys, and describe who they are. These are guys that are mostly New York yeah. guys. They're, they're mostly inner city guys right. from the boroughs who were a little overlooked for whatever reason, didn't get the glory, didn't get the um, you know, media attention that maybe some guys got. They have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder in a good way. Right. They're hungry and humble, which is a great combination. Right. And what I love about them more than anything is they don't have ego, they have team ego. Mm. They understand their name is their brand and they, they represent that. And they take great pride in that. And it makes my job very, I have a very easy job because of the character of these guys. And so, so great things happen. And so everyone's uh, hot uh, after uh, Steve Masiello after this. So then a little incident goes on, right? Yeah, a little one. You heard about that? Yeah, I heard about it. So uh, the folks at South Florida say, hey, we want you. They offer yeah. you, I think, a five-year deal, five yeah. million bucks. Yeah, say, uh, a little more. Little, OK, sorry, <laughs> a little more, a little more. The big deal comes in. Yeah. And you struggle with it because you're committed to the Jaspers, but you take the deal. Yeah. And then a detail comes out that yeah. on your resume, it says that you graduated from college yeah. when, in fact, that was not true. Correct. You did not know that? Correct. What happens? Greatest thing that ever happened to me. And Come on. I mean it. And, and I sit here because Winston Churchill says, when, when going through hell, keep going. And, and it's so true. And it's, it, and it's changed. It's reprogrammed me. Well, we should take a step back. South Florida says, oh, wait a minute. Time out. Right. We're out. You don't have a team yeah. for a period of time. Correct. You I'm don't, I imagine you don't know what's going on. Yeah. The tabloids are all over you. Yeah. The Daily News, the Post, yeah. everyone else, yeah. right? I'm thinking, my friend Steve, he's struggling. Yeah. Right? All of a sudden, Manhattan yeah. says it, what? They bring me back. Go ahead. And, and what happened was I, I learned a great lesson in life. It was the, it was the worst 78 days of my life. It was just, you know, it was really a tough time, not only for me, but for my family. And a detail that I missed at 21 years old almost cost me everything in my life at 36. And it totally changed my life. And I made an honest mistake. I thought I graduated. I wore a cap and gown. I participated in the commencement ceremony. I went to summer school. I thought I finished. I didn't, I missed some things. And it came out 15 years later that I missed something. And immediately Manhattan was phenomenal. They got behind me. They said, let's make this right. Let's get you back where you belong. Take care of your degree piece and then let's get you, you had back. You to go back and take team. care of school. Had to go back and take care of school right away. And I did that. And it took me about uh, two months to do that. I took care of what I needed to. And, and what it taught me, and it's a great teaching point for me is what, to my guys, what you do now mm. could affect the next 30 years of your so life. So what you tell them? And that's exactly what I told them. I said, I made a mistake, an honest mistake at your age. I said, it almost cost me everything I've worked for my whole life. It's put my family through a great deal of pain, seeing my mom, my girlfriend, my family 
struggle and go through these ups and downs with me and see me basically get, you know, beat up pretty good in the media. Whether it's rightful or wrongful, it doesn't matter. That that's the you owned it. Absolutely, you have 100%. to. 100%. 100%. It's All on me. On you? It's on me. 100%. On, no one else. What's the lesson there for your kids? No your players. You have to you have to be more accountable yourself than anyone else. And and if you want them, you can't assume anything. There's no gray area. It's black and white. I I'm not going to blame anyone. This is on me. This is Steve Masiello. My name is my brand, and I let my brand take a fall. And no one, that's not, who am I going to point the finger to? Me. It's on me. So I should have done a better job at 21. That's right. The only issue I had was everyone was saying, well, you preach all these things, you teach all these things. Yeah, I do. If I was the same person I was at 21 that I am at 36, I wouldn't be a college basketball coach. I'd be doing something totally different. You know, but it, you're different because of those mistakes, absolutely. because of what you learn, because of maturity. A absolutely. And that's what it's about. You know, and and I, I'm a big believer. I've preached to my guys, life isn't about how you do. It's about how you do under adversity. Mm. It's about how do you show, what's your character? Your dad teach you that? Right? Absolutely. Let me show a picture of you and your dad. Yeah. You're tight. Oh, my best friend. Describe him. Um, he was a guy, and, and you know, Mike and I always laugh about this. Mike Permucci. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and Mike's dad is very similar like that to Mike. Whatever you went to him for. He, he made you feel the answer he gave you was the right answer. And it was something that was just really unique to me because he, he was insurance in my life. Whenever I needed something, whenever I needed a, a tough decision or an easy decision, he just, he, he, he didn't tell me what to do. He just kind of guided me on the right course. And he had a very subtle way, but a very powerful way about him. Um, him and I are just, you know, he was everything to me. Everything, and I lost him in uh, 2008. Will you still leave a seat on the bench for him? Yeah. Yeah, you know, if he was here, he's so influential in my basketball, grass is my mother and my dad, and if he was here, he'd be sitting on the bench with me. So I leave the first seat in the bench, um, and, and if you ever watch me coach, I'll turn to that seat a lot. <laughs> and people think I'm losing my mind because I'm asking questions <laughs> to that seat, and I'm waiting for him to answer me back, you know, yeah. and, and tell me what to do. But he, he, was, uh, he was my world. Before I let you out here, Steve, what do you love about coaching at Manhattan? The ability to impact people's life and make young people's life better. If we're not making people's life better... Steve, come on, it's basketball. No, it's not basketball, it's life. Basketball is secondary. It's life. Are you making someone's life around you better? If you're not doing that, you're not living. You have to really bring out the greatness in other people. What do those kids owe each other, in your mind? You know, I, I think what they owe each other is peer, good peer pressure. You see someone not doing the right thing, say it. Be a leader. Be a leader at a young age. Bring that out. Hold each other accountable. That's what it's about. It's easy to shut your mouth. It's easy not to say what's right. But if you can get young people today to talk and actually communicate, not text it, talk and say it, you know, you're getting them on the right, right course. And, that, and that's what it's about for me. I care more about in 20 years of my guys, where they're working, are they good husbands, are they good fathers, are they taking care of their family? That's what it's about. You love what you do. Oh, my God. Steve Masiello, men's basketball coach, Manhattan Jaspers. Get you some games this year. I'll be there. Great. You don't need me speaking. You're there. <laughs> Take care, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. That was great. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by the New Jersey Education Association, Wells Fargo, Health Republic Insurance of New Jersey, Qualcare Inc., Virtua, Adler Aphasia Center, and by Cone Resnick. Promotional support provided by the Star Ledger, powering NJ.com, and by Commerce Magazine. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.